If you haven't hopped on Deepwoken, you might have missed something great, but there's good things to come and trolling like no other. Actually, this small update might have a giant impact on the game despite its joke addition. There's three new races. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and it's time to dive deeper into Deepwoken's history, specifically for April Fools. Every time this holiday rolls around, the game does something special that we all can enjoy, so let me explain what happened before we get started today. The very first year of Deepwoken, every single race was transformed into their Mudskipper version. Each character had their very own Mudskipper race description, and we all shared that visual. With the animations, Mudskipper noises, and even the goofy looking face, we became the weakest enemy in all of Deepwoken. It's crazy what people were doing with this limited time race, and to be honest, I kinda want it back as a permanent addition to the game. Moving forward one year into 2023, this became the origin for Destroy Man 3. In the game last year, if we interacted, were slapped, even roared on by a single megalodont, we would contract a disease known as the Sharko Plague or Sharko Virus. Again, our faces became really funny looking and we sneezed around, spreading the plague. This plague would cause you to pause in place, sneezing, and you'd also hallucinate funny stuff. At the bottom of your screen, Destroy Man 3, this weird looking Sharko guy would say some crazy stuff since he's an absolute menace, but this was eventually removed from the the game. Luckily though, we can still regain him at a shrine in Etris, and you know, that's pretty fun. Destroy Man 3 became so big of a meme, they even sold plushies of his design, which says a ton from the community's impact. Now today, it's something special, which probably will have a huge impact on the future of Deepwoken. For April 1st, 2024, Deepwoken has changed into Deepwoken Warring States era with a very special name and I guess, you know, icon, whatever image, and yeah, it's pretty funny. In this era, we're assigned one of three teams and we don't get to pick. The blue skippers, the red daunts, and the green threshers, and of course, I'm repping the red daunts because they're OG and, you know, they're classic. As your team, you would gain points by doing epic tasks like killing enemy teams, soloing a world boss, or simply fishing. In certain game modes, our points are indicated at the top of our screen for some friendly competition, so we always know what's up. Apparently, if your team wins in-game, they'll add something special into the game's discord, and and maybe even the game. As you can see, we're changed into monsters for our specific monster team, just like before, and it is pretty funny to see. We can either be a Sharko with our goofy face and coral back bling, a mud skipper with a special head, or a Thresher with some spines as well, and I also like this one since it's new. For the future of Deepwoken, this is absolutely huge since there's a whole new system that was added, and this is just for a joke. They could totally use this in the future for world events to, you know, say, who's winning the next next legendary weapon, which boss is gonna get the next armor, there's so much that can be done. Sharko versus Mudskipper versus Croco. share your teams down below. Anyway, that's it for right now, and make sure to like and subscribe for even more content like this. We're super close to hitting 80k subs, and thanks again, it's punchin' time.